Things That Talk by Jill Badonsky from Amuse's Daydream. I've been taking a master class from poet Joy Harjo. She says one of the elements to writing good poetry is listening. Everything has something to say. The trees, the sky, the potted plants on the front porch. So I've been listening. And what I found is that if you pay attention closely, things are talking a lot. Like right now. I'm stuck in an Airbnb in uptown San Diego because of the bathroom renovation. And there is a lot of talking. Those aren't people. Those are things. The desk, refrigerator, the sink, the comforter, my robe, the burn. Giving me advice I haven't asked for. The coffee pot is percolating in laughter. The heat is humming a blue song. The cats are spouting sarcasm about my choice or lack of choice of hairstyle. And the lamp is not taking any of this lightly. Where once there was silence, there is a cacophony of conversation because of the listening thing. My attention turns to outside the window where the talk is louder. This Airbnb is on a busy street. The street is wet from rain. Every time a car drives by, it says this. which, when I translate it from rain-drenched pavement ease, is the word yes. Every time a car passes on the wet concrete, I hear the word yes. When a group of cars go by, one after another, it's a flurry of yeses in a tag-team procession. The yeses come and go. Nothing stays yes for long. The noise evaporates into silence as soon as the cars pass. So I ask questions I wish were answered with yes. Will people ever live and let live? Will peace ever stay? Will fairness ever reign? There is a sudden absence of cars. Silence. No yeses. Not too long after, more cars are coming, but they don't say yes, they say wish. 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 That's what I hear when I listen to the cars driving on the wet pavement now. Wish. A truck says, get out of my way. And a bus says, same old routine, same old route, day after day. The rain is coming down heavy now. It starts talking. I listen. Yes is not the answer at the end of your impossible questions, it says. That's just your wish. Peace can be elusive. Listen closely. The cars aren't saying yes, and they aren't saying wish. They are saying this, too, shall pass. The darkness, the conflict. Yes, this, too, shall pass cars on a rainy street the thought you're thinking a daydream on a detour these two shall pass and then whatever comes next that shall pass too listen to the peace inside of you but first you must practice finding it
breathe. Thanks for listening. Joy Harjo is an American poet, musician, playwright, and author. She is the incumbent United States Poet Laureate, the first Native American to hold that honor. She is also the second Poet Laureate consultant in poetry to serve three terms. She is a member of the Muscogee Nation. For creative workshops, retreats, and trainings, check out the show notes. Peace.